Right, the smart car's having some problems with the gear. So what's happening? I start it up, I can get into first, but when I go to put it in reverse, it only comes up with zero. I have to put it in first, drive it forward. That does something in the gearbox, goodness knows what, then I can select reverse. Um, which is fine until you park too close to something that you can't go forwards. So we thought we're gonna change the transmission or it's been doing a few weird things. So we've we've got it precariously up our new ramps, which looks just bizarre. Um, and we've thrown Tyler underneath. Are we all safe, Tyler? We're safe enough. We've got it locked in gear, and we are gonna have a look at draining the oil on a... Right, so let's see how we can do this. If I go around the side here, Tyler, and you can go underneath and point everything out to everyone. So if we look up here, let's have a look. We're under the car. Now, I don't know why the light's gonna work. Oh, yeah, it's adjusting, it's adjusting, right. So it's Technology. doing its stuff. So you could point out the drain, where we're gonna drain from, oh, and then I can point to it there. All right, okay. So we reckon that's a seven millimeter socket on that. No, um, hex eight. drive. Eight, sorry, eight. Yes, yeah, good job you're here, Tyler. Right, so great. let's have a go at loosening it then. But you don't want to take it out because it's going to drip on your head. <laughs> what I suggest, Tyler, is put that in and give it a little tap with the hammer. But that'll do two things. That'll make sure it's located fully in it. And it will also... You're going to have to lie on your back, that's it. And you, it will me. also give a bit of vibration that will help loosen the threads. So you won't have to look so weak when you come to undo it. Right. Now get, now get the socket on it. Now hopefully you've got about five or six threads. So just as soon as you've got it loose and then we'll reposition ourselves. Now you've got to get it engaged now. That's it. Right. Now that's doing it up. That's it. Right, go on then. Oh, right. That's it. Whoa. He went. He went. Right. <laughs> okay. So now I suggest you sort of extract yourself mildly from under the car. Uh, and get that drain. So we've got the drain tray. We've got our proper drain tray here. We look professional here. Right, right. He's loose. He's loose. How are we all going to get him out? Yeah, let's have a go. I'll just, I'll just, I've got the lights a bit tricky back here. I'm going to try and come in the other way. Hold on. Right, the light might be better. You got it? Yeah, we're ready. We're, we're keeping back, Tyler. Don't splash <laughs> the lens. Right, you got your, you reckon you've done your calculations of where it's going to hit your pot, have you? Well, it's either hit the pot or me. Yeah. Whoa! Oh! Right then. Are you alright, Tyler? Yeah. There you go. Got a, We've got a drain plug. A bit. Alright, he's, he's there. Well, it's got oil in it. Now, one thing we ought to do, Tyler, is when that's finished doing it, we ought to look at the oil and look if there's anything in there. Yeah. It seems pretty clear. From... It seems. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stay away from that. <laughs> it's, it's having. Oh my goodness. God. First thing in the morning. Now I'm looking for little bits of metal. So we'll, we'll have a look if there's any bits of metal or anything looking too worrisome. But it generally looked alright. It was, it was dirty. Right, we'll let that settle and see what sort of sludge we got. In fact, put all those plugs in it, Tyler, so it doesn't all drain away. And then we'll have a little look at the sludge. Yeah, just put one of those in there. Sorry, in the bottom of that. Uh, yeah, but you got to... Oh, what? So I do. So all... Because so, I want to examine the sludge with my finger in a second. So put one of those yellow bungs back in there while dodging the draining oil. Right, let's go and get cleaned up. And then what... Because I want to do is I want to have a look at some of the sludgy oil, see what yeah. it looks like. Right, so if we go under our pristine smart car here... The filler upper hole, can you just point it? I've got it there in the middle of the picture. That's it, brilliant, right. So that's got a eight millimeter hex socket on it. So yeah. let's have a go at undoing that then, Tyler, and see if we can fill it. And we've got to put the, um, don't, first thing to do before we do anything, otherwise it'll be a schoolboy error, is put that one in. Back here. Now apparently you can put some sort of sticky stuff around it to stop it falling out. But I think if you just whack that in there, Tyler, and do it up as, like that's anti-clockwise you need to go the other way you can go backwards till you feel it oh. i've got to admit i have done that before tyler i've done an oil change i've let it drain and i've filled it up at the top and checked the dipstick only to discover 
I've put clean oil all over the floor. <laughs> you made a mess. Made a mess. All over the floor. Someone as professional as me, even someone as professional as me, Tyler, has done that before. Can you imagine? Um, <laughs> Can I? Yeah. They're supposed to say no. Uh, uh, Go on. Oh, that's tight enough. There you go. There's probably a proper talk for that. You have to go to a professional YouTube video to find that. <laughs> Right, there we go. Give him another little tap with the hammer again as well. I've got a problem with holes all day. Tyler. You have not been able to get it in there all day, Tyler. You couldn't get the key in the defender. You couldn't get this. What was the third thing? You couldn't get the key in the container lock. <laughs> just been rubbish all day it's all the stress of this lockdown nonsense getting to your toilet right come on that's it Good. that makes sure it's all the way in and a few vibrations will help undo it right go on then get on that one Oh, she's going to drive beautiful by the time you've done all this time. I hope so. You've not driven my smart car yet, have you? I've driven it about 100 metres. You drove it early, yeah? Oh! It's when you crack your knuckles on that exhaust. Right. I reckon when it gets loose, Tyler, do it by hand, because I reckon you've got a bit more control. Oh, well, we're not... No, we're not so worried now. We ain't got a load of oil coming out, have we? you got it stuck in there yeah. now. <laughs> we might have to take it into the vice and tap it out. How long is it? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave it in there because we there's no point in taking it off. We need the, the socket and I I bet you when we put it back in it'll sort of rotate the other way when it gets tight and it'll come out. We'll leave that there. Right in. Little top tip. Top tip. Don't panic. Right. See if you can get some of our Dexton true in there. She's hungry for it. Now, do we know the well, I don't know what the official capacity is, but we'll tell you. Right. When it starts pouring back out again, Tyler, yeah. it's full. Now, we're somewhat inclined, aren't we, Tyler? So do you think yes. you should probably do this on a level surface? I reckon if you're a professional, you should. I don't honestly reckon it's going to make a whole lot of difference. But just in case someone sues us, Tyler, for giving them dodgy advice, do it on a, le <laughs> do it on a level surface. Well, we haven't been sued yet. We haven't been sued yet, no. Don't say that. I've had a few funny customers though. We have had. And we've got things wrong before, but we try and sort it out, don't we? Yeah. Right. I don't think everyone wants to watch you glugging. <laughs> Let's wait till it starts pouring out. So what? how many litres have you got there? You've got one litre there. Yeah, one litre. Uh, it should take all that. I think it's like 1.4. Right, let's have a go. Right, we've got to be getting close now. We're, um, what are we into now? What's your calibrated... Hand weight telling you, are we into 1.4 yet? Are we into 1.5? Uh, I feel like 1.2, but you know. Oh, yeah. My calibrated set of scales. He's, he's hungry, he's having it all. Is it he, is it? it? Yeah, I think so. I think Rusty, I just call him Rusty. Right, it's now starting to dribble out. So there you go, yeah. that's it, yeah, we can see the dribble, perfect. Again, we haven't got the car flat, so we've probably done a bit of a naughty somewhere. We still don't know this will fix our gear problems, but always worth doing a transmission oil change. What's the downside, other than making a mess? Costing money and taking time. What we needed doing anyway. Yeah, 80,000 miles on our little smart 450. All right, that's it, you got it. That's good enough. It's going to be off the ramps. You're pushing the harder. <laughs> right now, yeah, yeah. Thing out. Ah, they try going. Oh, there you go. We out. Yeah. Right, we are all done. That is a transmission oil change. Let me see if I can drive it off. Oh, yeah. Tyler did just mention it's about two point. We've used two point four liters, but again, we we haven't got it flat, so it might be 
That might not be. Look at all those uh, bottles going. Right, let's have a look if it dries. That's the proof of the pudding, Tyler, is in the eating. Yeah. Right, here we go. Started. Yeah. I was telling me I'm in reverse, hold on. <laughs> 